how to bet on NBA games. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to place a bet on NBA basketball games online using a sports book called Bovada. So once again, the sports book that we are on is Bovada. I'm going to place a link in the description if you're interested in joining Bovada, the best sports book, and you'll earn the best bonus available by using my link in the description. Now let's get started with this video. So I'm going to show you guys the different ways you can place a bet on a team, on a player, and also how you can combine bets known as a parlay to make 5, 10, 20, 50, or even 100 times your money. So I'm going to go over all the different betting options, and I'm going to also show you guys why Bovada is the best place for you to place a bet on NBA basketball. Let's get started with this video. So we have the playoffs going on over here. I'm taking a look at the games for today. Uh, and the easiest way to bet is by doing a money line bet, which is over here under win. So this is going to be the same whether you're using Bovada Sportsbook or a different sportsbook, but Bovada is the one that I recommend. Um, so over here, we have the Raptors and the 76ers. This is game two. So this is a bet on who will win, a money line bet. So when you do a money line bet, it doesn't matter how many points the team wins by. As long as they win, you win the bet. And I'll go over these numbers. Now, the difference with the spread is they have to win by a certain amount of points or a team can lose by a certain amount of points and you still win the bet. So the Raptors are a plus 275. That means they are an underdog. The Philadelphia, Philadelphia 76ers are a minus 350, meaning they are the favorite. They are expected to win. This game's taking place in Philadelphia. So let me show you guys an example. If you bet $100 on the Philadelphia 76ers, they're a minus 350. You're probably going to win around 30 bucks or so. So 28.57. So for you to place a bet on the 76ers, you would get a 28% return versus you take that 100 and you bet it on the uh, Toronto Raptors, you're going to win $275. So you're going to win almost 10 times the money by betting on the Raptors. And all you're going to do is enter the amount over here. So you're risking 100 bucks to win 28. And it's going to say place bet over here once you create an account and you're logged in. And guys, it's free to uh, create an account. Bovada takes just a few moments. You don't have to bet. So if you just want to create an account and browse around, it's totally free. It just takes about two minutes to create an account. So $100 gets you about $28. Now, if you take the Raptors, uh, your 100 is going to get you $275. And uh, this is $275 on top of your 100 So you keep your 100 and you get $275. So you get... Uh, a pretty good return by betting on the Raptors, but do keep in mind uh, this game is in Philadelphia and uh, the Sixers are a heavy favorite. Um, they won pretty easily in game one. I think they won by around 20 points or so. It was, a, it was a blowout, so keep that in mind. However, let's say you want to do the spread, right? And uh, you don't think you're making enough money because you're betting $100. You're only getting about $28 back. Um, you think the 76ers are going to win by at least seven and a half points. Now, the reason they put the half there is because you have to win by eight or more. Now, if they put seven, you would have to win by eight or more. Does, does that make sense? So they go seven and a half. Because if, 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 if they win by seven over here, right, the 76ers, you would lose this bet. So the 76ers have to win by eight or more points. You're going to pretty much get an identical payout. There's a slight difference, but usually it's the same. As you can see, minus 110 here, minus 110. But sometimes there'll be a slight difference just depending on the line. So over here, if you take the Raptors, they can lose by up to seven points and you'll still win the bet. So basically, in this case, the, the, the Raptors are starting with a seven and a half point lead. Just think about it uh, that way, okay? So if you think the Sixers can win by eight or more points, you want a higher payout, you would do the spread. So over here, now you bet 100, you win $87 versus your 28. Basically the same payout as, as the Raptors. Uh, you're getting a little better payout over here because the line's different sometimes, $95. So those are the two ways over here. The third way to bet is the over-under over here. So total points over-under, 216 and a half. So basically 217 or more combined score of the two teams. Will it be 217 or more? Uh, you can take the over or the under, same odds, minus 110. You're going to get the same payout. You bet about $100, you get about you know $95 or so back. $90, I should say. It's about 90 I think minus 110 gets you 90 Yeah, $90.91. So that's, that's the third way. So these are the three primary ways. But there's 200 bets over here, guys. So what are those? These are prop bets. So many different ways to bet. But let me show you guys one more thing over here. Let's say 
you want to combine some bets so let's say you want to take some underdogs let me show you guys what's possible um, i have complete tutorials on my channel in detail but this is called a parlay let's say i take the raptors right let's say i'm betting a hundred dollars so my hundred is going to get me 275 right so if you combine this with a few more bets watch what happens let's say let's just use underdogs so let, i can show you guys the power of this you take the mavericks right I don't, I don't think Luca's playing this game. I'm not sure. Now you're at a plus 950. So you're at nine and a half times your money now. Let's say you take another underdog. Let's say you take the Nuggets over here. Now you're at plus 3575. So what does this mean? This means that you make 35 times your money, over 35. So if you're about $1,000, for example, you're going to make $35,750 back. So 100 is going to get you over $3,500 back. But you have to win all three of the bets. So it's all or nothing. So what... A lot of times people will do is let's say you're let's say you usually bet a thousand dollars on each game so what you would do on the parlays is you would bet a smaller amount you know you'd go a hundred dollars 150 200 dollars or let's say you bet a hundred dollars on each individual game maybe you'll do some parlays and you'll throw you know five or ten twenty bucks at them so that's a smart way to play this so you got your individual bets and then for your home runs you bet a little bit less money right because they're, they're like lottos in other words so you can combine way more way more uh teams in that right you can make 50 100 plus times your money you could do four five six different teams you know different bets so that's called a parlay okay guys another great thing i love about bovada is that they have live betting so these games aren't started yet but once they start you could bet on games live so when it's the first or second quarter these numbers are going to change based on the score and how the game is going and you can still bet on them so you don't have to get your bet in before the game you can still bet while the games are going on it's called live betting Obviously, the games haven't started yet, so I can't show you guys that right now. So if I go to plus 200 bets over here, this is where it gets really fun and interesting. Um, actually, I think the, the funnest and interest, most interesting bets are the parlays because of the payouts, how you can make, you know, five to ten uh, times your money is easy. You just have to, you know, pick two to three teams, right, depending on whether you're picking underdogs or uh, favorites. But once you start getting up there, you know, you got four different bets, five different bets. Now you're looking at 30, 40, 50 times your money, sometimes 100 times your money. And you can hit those sometimes, right? So you just got to do it uh, strategically. So over here, guys, um, so those same bets that we talked about on the game, as far as the money line over here, the spread and the over under. Now you can do that same bet on the half, the first half. So a lot of times like the home team will come out strong so i'll, I'll go ahead and take I'll, I'll go ahead and take the money line over here or the spread on the first quarter uh on the first quarter sorry this is the first half and uh you know i'll just bet on the first quarter right so like even if i think a team's gonna lose and if they're at home like i know they're gonna come out strong so i'll bet on the first quarter or or i'll do an over under I'll, I'll usually do an over on the first quarter because there's always a hot start in the beginning and then things kind of calm down right depending on who's playing and everything you know like i'll do the over so you could go over 56 points like for example over here just on the first quarter instead of doing the total game because a lot of times the game slows down right later on third fourth quarter it gets close it slows down or um when teams start pulling away right the, the score might not be that high in the fourth because the bench players are in they're just running the clock out whatever it may be right so you could bet on the first quarter you could do the spread the money line and the over under just based on the first quarter now uh we'll take a look at some of these not all of them because there's so many different ways to bet over here but for example you could do, you could bet on assists right a certain player so like harden is he gonna have 11 assists or more you know 10 and a half over or under and be three and a half assists right you think he gets four assists you just take the over over here so you think he's gonna get four assists or, or more you would just put in whatever you want over here and uh yeah just enter that amount so over here let's take a look at some other ones the points so james harden 21 and a half over or under is he gonna get 22 or more over here you know, you got Tyrese Maxey. I believe he's the one that had the huge uh, game. If I'm not mistaken, he had like 35 or 36 points in game one around there, high 30s. So uh, is he going to get 20 or more in this one? Points, rebounds, and assists combined. You could do this. Joel Embiid, 49 and a half over or under. That's points, rebounds, and assists combined. So all these different bets over here. There's these special bets over here. Uh, let's look at some of the high paying uh, ones. So James Harden, if he makes four more threes, it's a plus 300. So you'll have those games, you know? So plus 300 means that, like, if you bet 1,000, you're going to make $3,000 if he gets four threes or more. 
Um, let's look at some of these other scenarios, for example. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid, three plus three ma threes made. You know, sometimes when he has those 40 point games, he'll do that. It's a plus 500. Five times your money right here. On top of your 100, you turn $100 into $600. Uh, Van Vliet, plus 650, gets 30 points. Uh, let's see what else is there. Tyrese Maxey, 30 plus points, plus 900. In game one, I believe he got 36 points. Uh, don't take my word for it, look it up, but I think he got like somewhere in the mid 30s or high 30s. I didn't watch the game, but I did see the highlights. So if he does that again, now you bet 100 bucks, you turn it into 1,000. You get 900 back on top of your 100 if you win this bet. 100 into 1,000, 10x return right here. Because you get your money back, right, that you bet, that you risked. Let's see what's, what's some of the crazier ones over here. So if James Harden has a pretty good game, finally, 40 plus points, which he used to do all the time, plus 1,800. 100 gets you $1,800 back. 1,000 gets you $18,000 back. That's crazy. So if he actually has a good game, damn, you can make an 18x return on this. That's crazy. Joel Embiid, if he gets 60 plus, I don't think he's ever done that. That's a 40x return. James Harden, 50 plus, you make 50 times your money. So check this out. Wow, that's crazy. Each team gets 31 plus points in each quarter. Damn, is that a plus 100,000? No way. Damn, that's crazy. You bet $100 and you get $100,000 back, guys. If each team, 31 plus points in each quarter. So it obviously, like, if you average that out, that's 124, 124, right? But it's 31 plus each and every quarter for both teams. So this game would have to go up to like 140, 150 then. You know, because 31 is the minimum. But you would, you would take, that's crazy. So $1,000 gets you a million. Wow. That seems off. Usually this is plus 10,000. Which is a hundred times your money, not a thousand times your money. A hundred thousand. Ten, a hundred, a thousand. Is that right? Let me let me do that. So a dollar gets you a thousand back. Ten dollars gets you ten thousand back. Hundred thousand. A hundred dollars gets you a hundred thousand back. Yeah, a thousand. That's a thousand x return. That's crazy. So a thousand dollars gets you a million. That'd be insane. So as you can see over here, first player to make a free throw, first player to make a three, top scorer in the game. You could get your own, you do your alternative lines over here. If you think the Sixers are going to just blow them out, you know, you could go ahead and take the plus 15 and a half, meaning they'll win by 16 or more. And now you're at a plus 290. So instead of betting $100 and making what, $28, you're betting $100 making 290 if they just blow them out, you know? So you could do an alternative spread. So you don't want to just bet on the game right out. You think the Sixers are going to win. Like why, okay, if you think the Sixers are gonna win, right? $100 gets you with $28 only. Why wouldn't you just go ahead and go over here and just take the four point spread? You don't think they'll win by four or more if you're picking them anyway, get a higher return, $47. You're getting only 28, if that makes sense. So to get the same return, you'd probably be down here somewhere. You're still getting more return, even if you take the minus two. Does that make sense, guys? So you might as well just do an alternative spread because any anything over one and a half you're getting a better return so that's something to keep in mind and you could do that on the first there's so many different bets as you can see over here right so many over unders this and that first basket uh game winner parlay player to score, score the first points for 76ers da, da, da. so many different bets on bovada this is why i love bovada guys look at this i'm not gonna even go over them there's like over 200 bets on just this game alone but uh, keep the the parlay thing in mind. That's something that's interesting. There's live betting. Um, once again, uh, Bovada, best sports book to bet on sports. They have other features as well, like the casino and everything. Um, been using this sports book for a number of years. It's the best one. I have full tutorials on it. Check it out on my channel. And uh, if you guys want to check out a, a, another sports book, here's another great one that I like using too. It's called My Bookie. You guys have probably heard of it. Um, sometimes the odds will be different on my bookie, so I'll use two, two or three different sports books just to look at the odds and see which one gives me a better payout. So I'll place a link to my bookie as well in the description, and by using that um, that link, you're going to be able to earn a pretty good bonus. So 
Check out both links in the des description below if you guys have any questions about uh, betting on sports, betting on basketball, NBA basketball. Let me know in the comments section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.